and Craig Smoke. Larry Rose the third. Fairfield High School, a record-breaking running back there, a record-breaking running back at New Mexico State. Had a chance in the NFL with the Titans and the Rams, CFL as well with Winnipeg, and has been on a couple of other teams professionally. Joins us on Sikkim 365 Radio, drafted by the New Orleans Breakers. Former Baylor offensive coordinator Larry Fedora runs that team, and he joins us, Larry Rose the third. What does getting this opportunity and great to have you, young man. What does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. I, I, first and foremost, I just thank God for the opportunity. You know, um, I think this go round means more to me than any uh, any other go round because um, being away from the game for two years and getting the opportunity uh, to come back and uh, get back on the football field that's something that I don't take lightly. So uh, I. I I'm very ecstatic about this this time this time around. So, uh, what kind of shape you in? Have you been keeping up for for this and and, and just waiting for this opportunity? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm uh I'm actually I'm in shape. I'm good. I'll be ready to go. Um, come a uh, training camp. So I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm um ready to play some ball. Larry, how much did you realize? I mean, I'm sure you always knew that you loved the game of football, but how much did you realize you loved it when it was kind of taken away from you there for a little while? Uh, you know that that's that's when it really hits you. You know, um, you you play your whole life. You play your whole life ever since um, you know I was a kid, um, five years old, six years old, been playing football, and then for it to abruptly come to a halt, um, especially with the COVID um, scenario, where to just come to a halt like it did, man, it really puts things into a perspective that, that you can't take anything for granted because uh, at any given moment, it, it could be over with, you know? And um, I honestly feel like I have, I still have a lot that I, uh, that, that a lot of people haven't seen of me, you know? And um, one thing I want to be able to do is, is, is show the world. So uh, to not be able to touch the football field and feel like, man, it's still a lot that nobody that nobody got to see of me. Uh, a lot of people that still don't know my name for what God blessed me to be able to do. It's like, man, you know, like I said, this go time, I just go around, I'm just ready to go. It's go time, and I'm excited. Well, you still have the, the that, that speed, that glide that you did when we watched you in high school and what you did. I mean, is it still kind of that, that magical electric slide and glide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's still there. It's still there. It's, it's, I, I, I feel like it's... As long as uh, God got me on this earth, I, it'll be there because that's what he's blessing me with. Larry, uh, you uh, obviously had a record-breaking career in high school and also in college as well. Larry Fedora is your coach. Zach Smith, former Tulsa quarterback, is on the team and much more. What have they told you? What I know that the season starts at the middle of April. Camp will start here pretty soon. What's the timeline for you? Uh, from my understanding, we, we're going to start training camp on um, – March the 21st and um, then have a season opener on April 16th and um, I talked to Coach Fedora man and he told me that uh, he's just ready to get to work he said he, uh, he he was watching my film he was breaking me down um, leading up to the draft he said he really liked what he saw and he said he couldn't um, wait to get to work and, and get me rolling in that offense Larry Rose the third former Fairfield High School All-State took his team to a state championship right there on the verge in a shootout falling just short in the state championship final at AT&T Stadium as well. So what have you done? You said he's been out of football. I know COVID also wrecked a few things for things and schedules and leagues and all that. There's a few that sprouted up that ever worked out. What have you been doing in, uh, to kind of just make some money on the side? Uh, man, I've been I actually after the uh, after COVID came and the XFL uh, came to an end, I was working just working a uh, a regular job at a, at a hotel security for a little bit and then i was like man I, I, I gotta find something else to do i gotta find something else to do and i actually ended up going to get my cdl so uh currently i'm, I'm actually uh out on the road i'm all the way right now i'm all the way out in uh, indianapolis indiana um and i'm headed home i'm headed home actually about to catch a flight here shortly after this interview but uh I was I was actually on the road when I got the call um, for the, that I was drafted. So that's what I've been doing, man. I, I got my CDL and I've just I've just been out here dr uh, driving, trying to make a living for myself. 
Well, I'm glad you're safe, and uh, be careful on the way back. Obviously, Texas is cold, chilly, nasty, and <laughs> icy in some cases. Larry Rose the third can't wait. Happy for you, man. Yeah, we're very thrilled thank for you, you. Thank and, you. And, and we you. will be in touch. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Thank you all. Larry Rose the uh, third. he was at Fairfield High School. Uh, he uh, John Bechtel was the head coach, uh, the, the son of, of the coach Bechtel, who was at Midway. For those of you around nationally, that's a school Fairfield, just a little bit east of uh, Waco, and um, he exploded on the scene. He was really good his senior year. They went all the way to a state championship game, and I think it might have been Argyle that they lost to. Is one of the year in and year out really good programs. I can't remember exactly who it was, but he then went on and had a fantastic over 4,500 yards at New Mexico State. And so we've always kept up with Larry Rose III. And this young man, 